Peggy Bennett has been a longtime supporter of Kinship Christian Radio and a very active Christian, having served in many arenas within her church, Grace Christian of Albert Lee, for many years, as well as participating in a number of missions trips to a reservation in Ontario. In the past, she has also volunteered for about 20 years with Youth for Christ. She has been an elementary school teacher for 33 years and was selected as the 2011 District Teacher of the Year in the Albert Lee area. Yet with all of her involvement in many different areas, one thing she never thought she would do is run for office. But she was asked to run by some Republican leaders leaders in the community, and after getting wisdom from spiritual counselors and praying about it, she got really excited about the idea. Through this process, she has learned to never say never. I can remember sitting in my climbing tree in grade school. I had this climbing tree, and I sat there, and I remember clearly thinking, I will never be a teacher, because I hated school then. So I'm not your typical teacher. I didn't dream of that as a child. I I didn't want to be a teacher, and yet the Lord led me into that, and I know He gifted me for that. And then I remember as a young adult, I said, I will never get into politics because just all the negative things. I don't like the name calling. I don't like the political posturing just to keep your office instead of doing what's right. So that always turned me off, and I said I would never get involved in politics. Well, now look where I am, so never say never. Peggy Bennett says it's her concern for the future of her students that drives her to run for the Minnesota District 27A House seat. She's concerned that they may not have the same America she had growing up as we continue to lose our freedoms and see America increasingly becoming more outside of God's will and the way the founders designed it to be. One of the things that I want to do is help strengthen what I call we the people. I believe our founding fathers knew that the people were the strength of this country and the people governed through their representatives. It doesn't come down from the government, it comes up from the people. And we need to strengthen the people and part of being able to do that and in Minnesota especially as I see jobs just leaving left and right. People are not able to make, you know, a living wage on a lot of cases. We have a climate that is not business friendly. We know that the businesses are part of helping people become financially independent. And if we don't have strong business, and I'm speaking private sector, small business pretty much, then our people won't be strong. We, we won't be able to financially support ourselves, and that leads into a lot of different problems for families and individuals. Peggy wants to see Minnesota restored to a business-friendly climate by reducing burdensome government regulations and taxes especially. And she says Christians need to be willing to get involved in efforts like that. At the upcoming Minnesota caucuses, delegates are elected, and then at the end of March, districts hold meetings where delegates choose who to endorse to run for the various legislative seats. Peggy Bennett does have an opponent for the Republican nomination to face the incumbent Democrat this fall. If you're in Minnesota, be sure to participate in the caucus in your area at 7 p.m. this upcoming Tuesday night. For details, you can contact your local party headquarters or city hall. Reporting for KJLY News, this is Jay Rudolph.